right? It is one of the services, but there may be many services, many services. Have you understood this, uh, this connection between these two words? Anyone, uh, if you have any doubt, ask me because uh, before I continue the next things, I have to clarify. If you have any doubt, ask me. All right. So if you have any doubt, just, I mean, unmute your microphone and you can ask because this is the most important concept in these two, uh, sorry, in this unit. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm giving some time for asking questions. So yes, I know that you understood uh, both internet and www, but my question is, have you understood the, the connection or the main difference between these, uh, uh, these two uh, words. That may be the important point. If you have any question, ask me. Right. Uh, some of you, I mean, text that, uh, is there any other services of internet? Yes, we have so many services, not one, not two, there are many. But I will, I will not explain these uh, services at the moment because there is a heading about services of internet. Maybe that may be the right time to explain. But uh, you know, email is one of the service of internet. Can you use inter email without having internet? No, right? That is one. Even, uh, you know, uh, you can connect two computers from long distances. We call it as remote access. I will explain later, remote access. They are also, internet is important. So internet, uh, internet is actually important for uh, many things. So I will explain the services of internet uh, later, but maybe for the moment you, you can get some idea about email and maybe uh, cloud computing, maybe uh, connecting two computers from long distances. So there may be many, right? So hope you understood this th these two idea. So this is the very simple summary. www is a collection of web pages which are saved in web servers, right? But internet is the one which connects all the web servers and client computers together and make the www as a successful one. So try to understand that without www, right, without www, Uh, sorry, without internet, you cannot take any anything uh, in terms of www. So internet is important for www. So in exam, mostly they ask similar similar questions, such questions. So they may ask whether internet and www are same. So now you know both of them are different. So th they ask whether the www is a service of internet or internet is a service of www. Now you got the idea, right? So www is the service of internet. Actually, internet is not the service of www. Don't memorize, understand, right? Because of internet, that www uh, is possible. So that is the connection between these two, two things. And also remember this uh, history. So Tim Berners-Lee actually introduced uh, this concept www around 1990s, maybe early 90s, right? So since he, uh, he was the person who introduced, he's known as the father of WWW, right? So remember these things, right? Then the next one, internet protocol address. This is another important one, but for grade 11, uh, even you can see your book, this is uh, summarized, right? They, they, gave, they gave a very simple summary for IP address, but IP address is something which we can study for days, maybe months. It's a big thing uh, in computer, but even though it is, it is uh, briefly mentioned in your book, I will definitely take some time and explain because 
for each and every user who uses internet, uh, this term must be familiar. You should understand what in IP address is or uh, how to how to set that in your computer. Uh, what are the devices which be which uh, have IP addresses? So we have to understand everything, right? So before that, I, I take something related to you, right? We all have names, right? So you have name, I have name, X has name, Y has name, everyone has name. But what is the reason? What is the reason for having names? See, if I am isolated from the other people, right? Assume I, I am isolated from the other people. So if I am isolated from the other people, definitely I don't need any names because I, I, am, I am alone. I don't have any communication with, uh, with others. So why do I need a name? So there is no need, right? Because even if you don't have any connection with any people, right? You don't have names. But when we want to communicate with the others, Definitely, we need uh, some sort of identification. You need some identification. I want some identification. That's why they gave names for us. But if we all don't have any connection with, uh, with others, definitely we don't have names, right? So come to the computer. If you have a computer which is not connected with the other, right? So assume you have a computer, but you didn't connect that computer with another computer. In this case, you don't need to have any, any identity for that computer because that, that, that seems to be isolated people. Now that is isolated computer. But when you want to connect your computer with another, so I assume you have two computers. Now you want to connect these two computers together. So now, definitely, these two computers need some sort of identity because your, one of your computers wants to know the other. The other computer also uh, wants to uh, check some identity of another computer because if they don't have such identification, definitely they cannot communicate because even they are machines. So definitely they need some sort of identification, right? So get that idea, now come to the point. So IP address is nothing, it's a number, right? It's a number which is given to each and every computer connected in a network. I repeat that idea. It's a number or even you can call that as an address. It's an address or it's a number given for identifying the computers, each and every computer connected in a network. So I, I, I just mentioned that you connected two computers together. Connecting two computers is nothing. It's what? It's a network. So in that network, two computers want to communicate. So definitely IP address are needed. Not only one, for both computers, IP address needed, right? So uh, even uh, if, if you take some big networks, there may be networks which has even hundreds or thousands of computer. In, in, in each case, every computer needs a, a, a specific number. That number is IP address. Even if, if you have 50 computers in a school computer lab, each and every computer need, need to, needs to be connected with the other. Definitely all those 50 computers have IP address. I must tell you one more thing here. IP address must be unique, which means IP and IP address cannot be repeated. The IP address given to your, your one computer cannot be given to another computer. Because see, as people, we have names as, uh, I mean, uh, in, 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 in the form of duplication. My name can be duplicated even thousands of times. But when it comes to computer, you know, they are machines. So if both computers have same IP address or same number, it is always a complex uh, thing when they want to communicate each other. So imagine when you have two computer and if they have same IP address, same number, 
then how can they communicate so it is always a problem right so ip address must be unique which means ip address given to your computer cannot be given to any other computers in the world right that that is uh, important right so about ip address we can discuss several things we have so many things but i i i have explained only two things but maybe the rest of the things better i will explain later because maybe the time almost up and also it, it definitely we need some time to understand the concept right so this is the two things uh, we we just took took ip address is a is a number given every computer in a network for identification purpose ip address must be unique which means it cannot be duplicated right uh, the other things uh, about ip address we have to discuss several things maybe ip address has a format our names cannot have any format we can have any names but these are given for computer one computer needs needs to uh, one computer needs a kind of identification from others so definitely there may be a format uh, followed so i will explain how an ip address is written and the present ip address version and everything maybe in the next class so if you have so today we we just take a very simple uh, part actually it is not the big part or we didn't cover big thing but if you have uh, any doubt so these are the, this is a simple summary today at the moment at the very beginning we took uh, the term in internet right then when then we discuss about isp internet service provider we talked about web servers uh, we talked about web browsers we talked about uh, what um, www and also we understood the connection between www and what uh, and internet and finally we had a very brief introduction for ip address so these are the things which we discussed today so this is i i try to give some time if you have doubt so if you have any doubt ask me if you have any if you want any uh, clarification or any uh, anything you, you want you can ask it from today's class i want that main thing right connection between www and uh, in uh, internet if you understood that definitely i know that you understood the other things right so if you if you are unable to understand that connection tell me uh, i try to explain in the next class right so since uh, you don't have any questions we can con conclude today's lesson so from this point uh, we can continue in the next class right so that's it uh, for today okay thank you